reading some of the comments on the 2011 Anime Awards, some of you asked what some of the animes were since you've never heard of them. The one title I get the most questions about is Horo Musuko, also known as Wandering Sun. This was actually one of my favorite animes to watch in 2011, so here I am to share it with you guys. This is a story about a young boy named Shuichi Nitori and a tomboyish girl named Yoshino Takatsuki. They're both really close friends, showing a deep, deep secret. Both of them are transgendered. Shuichi wants to be a girl, and Takatsuki wants to be a boy. Together, they decide to take the first steps towards becoming the people they want to be. This is in no way a hentai, a yaoi, yuri, or anything perverted. But the topic can be a bit mature for some viewers out there, especially since these are two middle school kids discussing transgender stuff. Still, it's just a story about two kids facing life with their decision and how they deal with it. All of their close friends support them, but they also warn them of the dangers. With their choice, they know they have to face their families, their peers, and society in general. All of this naturally falls more on Shuichi since he is a boy. Both Takatsuki and her classmate Chizuru Sarashina came to school wearing boy uniforms. A girl in boy's clothes is one thing, but somehow a boy in girl's clothing is unheard of. That is how society is and that's what Shuichi has to deal with. He also has to deal with a loudmouthed, embarrassed older sister who is ashamed and a bit jealous of her little brother's girlish habits. Yeah, some people think that she has a cuter younger sister. Even her own boyfriend flattered his beauty not knowing that he was a boy. I can kinda understand your embarrassment, girl, but don't take it out on your brother. He's got enough on his plate to deal with and having a bitchy older sister just makes it worse. Throughout these 11 episodes, you will see how Shuichi has to deal with these pressures and whether or not he can face them. The story is not bad at all. It gears towards drama, but it's also uplifting and funny. The characters are strong, believable, and memorable. The artwork isn't like any other typical anime artwork. It reminds me a bit of Usagi Drop with its coloring and 5 centimeters per second with its art style. It's, it's a nice change if you ask me. Like I said before, this anime is not for everyone. It's a regular slice of life anime that can be a bit slow to some viewers. For me, however, with the transgender plot and the characters, I was carried through all 11 episodes. I'm serious. I really wanted to see every episode and find out what happens in the end. If you're in the mood for an uplifting slice of life school anime with great characters, I highly recommend Horo Musuko, aka Wandering Sun. There! Now you know another good anime title to watch. For more updates on Anime America plans, just go to our Facebook page and like us. If you wish to support our production by purchasing our merchandise, just go to cafepress.com slash Podcast. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to Anime America.